you know, to prepare for this game, but I, I thought our players handled it well. We came back Sunday night. Uh, you didn't, we did not watch the video of Navy. We just came back and, and started preparing for Monroe, uh, kind of a schedule that we've done before on, on short weeks. Uh, had like a half practice, half walkthrough on, on Sunday night of what would be a normal Tuesday practice. And then yesterday we had a normal Wednesday practice and thought we moved around well. Our concentration was pretty good. And then came out today and had what would, uh, you know, account to be a normal Thursday practice. So we uh, travel tomorrow. We got to do a great job from now till the kickoff getting ready for the game. You know, in short weeks like this, the meetings have to be real good. The walkthroughs have to be real good. And we have to learn from now till kickoff more about our opponent. You know, that's, that's the one thing you miss out on is a couple of extra days of studying video and studying, you know, the guys you're going to go against, studying the schemes. So we still have to make sure that we're tough enough to concentrate on that and, and do a good job from now till kickoff. Yeah, I mean, he, he did a nice job the other day, and he's going to start this game. And, you know, I'd love to see him come out and play great every game. You know, that would be a good deal. But, you know, you're always one play away from the next quarterback being in there. And so everyone has to be prepared and ready to go. When you're evaluating things like that, what sort of ideas does Jeff Brown bring to the table in evaluating who you guys are going to play? Oh, I mean, we talk about it constantly. You know, we grade every every situation that we have in practice and evaluate everything we're doing. So, you know, that's the great thing about Jeff and I being together again is we know each other well. Um, he's coached some great quarterbacks. He's played the position. I've got the ultimate respect for his input and and uh, what he has to say. You know, I don't. Yeah. Let's call it an advantage. I don't, you know, who knows? <laughs> we got to line up and go play and find a way to win the game. Well, we've been studying film on them. It's just you, you miss a couple days, you know. We've been in there working hard at it and getting at it, and the coaches were grinding late both Sunday night and Monday night, and, you know, but uh, defensively, they're very unique. They run a different scheme. Um, you know, there'll be times they have nine guys, 11 guys within six yards of the ball, and, you know, they bring blitzes from everywhere. Um, you know, they've given up some big plays in the passing game, and, and uh, they, tr they really try to stop the run and try to, you know, eliminate what you do in the running game. And then offensively, you know, they've been uh, a spread offense, but they also utilize the two tight end sets and, and run the ball well out of the two tight end sets. And, you know, I've had experience playing the, these guys a couple couple times, and uh, actually probably goes back to four times now because I've played them also when he was the head coach at Army. So we we uh, you know we know a lot about what they do, and I had an assistant that worked with me that had worked with him. Um, so we're familiar with their philosophy and things that they do. But what you have to do is go out there and block and tackle and run full speed to the ball. And you know, when when uh, I watched the Navy game of our defense and our special teams, I was impressed at how hard we played and how much we were flying around and how many bodies we got to the football on, on all the different plays. So if we play with that intensity and that speed, I think we'll be fine. Coach Brown brought up yesterday that you guys have a smart road team this year. Is there a concern on that end about getting on the road? Yeah, we need to go do it. You know, we need to go on the road and play well uh, and execute and, and really be able to get into the second half and do the things we've been coached to do and play with great effort. If we can do those things in the second half, we'll have a good chance to win. We need to. You know, this would be a great week for it because they're going to play close to the line of scrimmage and we're going to get opportunities to get the ball down the field. You know, we got to be able to protect first and then, you know, get open and make the throw. So if we can do those three things, then we'll get a chance for some big plays. Okay, thanks a lot.